No yes. big deal, no big deal. Hello everybody, I need advice, please. Happy Monday? Well, Monday for me, it's not Monday for you. Anyway, um, I need advice. I have Persian cats, and I've asked for advice before on Persian cats, so I have two. One is the biggest, meanest, most ridiculous cat ever named Gus. One is the sweetest, sweetest, angel, ugly, disgustingly dirty cat, Daisy. Now Daisy you're having problems with during quarantine because you're supposed to get Persian cats groomed regularly. Daisy doesn't clean herself. She doesn't know how, she just doesn't want to. She's just an idiot, she has no brain. She's really sweet. So I was asking you guys for advice on how to clean her. And we figured that out and we figured out a way to get her groomed safely so that there's no contact with anyone and it's all safe and all good and she's good. Gus is a monster. He's a mean, mean cat who bites and scratches anyone who is not Flynn. So Flynn, he's gentle. Um, with Eric, he's gentle most of the time. We don't, you know, poke at him or anything. We'll pet him if he wants to be pet. If he comes to us and he wants to be pet, we'll pet him. But other than that, we let him do his thing and um, we leave him alone. He's the king of the castle. He owns this house. And there's a bug. We let him do his own thing because he is a grumpy. He's not a nice cat, he's very grumpy. Uh, we let him have his space and we let him feel his feelings and we let him be grumpy. However, he's really dirty and he needs to be groomed. He was really good at cleaning himself for this whole quarantine and then the last month I think he just gave up like the rest of us have in the world. He has a couple mats on his stomach and he just looks grody, he looks dirty. So I want to get him groomed but no one will take him because he's violent and he bites and he scratches and he's really, really strong. He's huge and like we did try to get him groomed and with two people holding him down, he like got out and was like vicious and evil. So what do I do? Do you guys know if there's like people who are specialists with like aggressively angry cats who can clean a Persian? because I want to get him cleaned. I don't want him to be uncomfortable or dirty, but like he's not nice and he'll bite and scratch whoever tries to clean him. So I don't know what to do. Gus. Gus, why are you so grumpy? He's letting me pet him, but his tail is going crazy. He's pissed. Aggressive. He's like, I'll clean myself. Leave me alone. Eric came downstairs with my theater kid shirt and some black tie-dye. He's gonna try to tie-dye black. That's the spirit! Goodbye, white. Before, see how we do. Get her in there. Soak her up. It's gonna be like blue. Soak it up. Is that done? If that's the color you want, then it's done. Well, it's the start of health week. We're eating healthy food. And today, my healthy food is not so healthy for me, but it's healthy for the environment. This is vegan. I'm having vegan nachos, which you would think wouldn't be good, but these are actually bomb. Yeah, we ordered from a vegan place today and we're supposed to be eating healthy this week. I gotta take it slow, man. I feel okay knowing it's not that healthy for me, but it's healthy for the mm, environment. Because good. the meat industry is not nice to our environment, so. So Flynn's having tempeh and you like it. Mm hmm Flynn wants the tempeh. And you want more? One more? Here you go. Mm. Mm. Wanna try the tempeh? Mm -hmm. Take a bite. What do you think? Mm. Is it yummy? Yummy. Moose isn't having any tempeh. All right, so yesterday, if you watched, I made chicken nuggets or chicken tenders, healthy chicken tenders for Flynn, and we had some leftovers, so I just reheated them for his lunch today. I cut two pieces of it in sort of a circle shape, and I'm gonna make out of ketchup a car, and he can dip his cute little chicken tenders in it with car ketchup. Are you kidding? Ah, so cute. He didn't even know it was in a car. He just started like dipping his chicken into it. It was like delish. So more. You have plenty. You have plenty, goods. Let's get you some grapes and bananas too. I have not really filmed much today. It's just been mommy day and just hanging out with my cute kid. But um, running out of steam, as you can tell by my face, I'm very tired. <laughs> and you run out of things to do with a toddler because they're only interested in things for five, 10 minutes. Sorry, you can't see me. So we're literally painting a cardboard box for no reason right now. Flynn, look, this is really fun, this part, because watch what you do. You take this and you dip it. You love to dip. And then you draw, see like that. Dip it. Yeah, there you go. That's fun, huh? Good job. Whoa, good job. 
Oh, you want to use two? You double fist in it? Okay, or not? Yeah. Okay, you done with that one? You like the markers better? Okay, well, that lasted 0.2 seconds. We're painting a box! Ah. Yeah, you want me to do it? Thank you. Beautiful. Good job. Oh, don't. Oh, okay. Stepping that. Oh gosh. And alive by bugs, we did come inside, but it was fun for five minutes. Okay, healthy dinner. <laughs> I made honey mustard chicken and uh, baked veggies, or I guess roasted veggies is what it's called. And this is rice made out of vegetables? Question mark. Right, rice made from vegetables. So we'll see how that tastes. I love being healthy. You guys, my cat understands English. You know at the beginning of this vlog, I was talking about how I have the angriest, meanest cat ever and I need to figure out how to get him groomed. What's happening? He just like jumped up on Eric's lap. He's purring. He's purring. What is going on? He's never done this. He's never done this. Like he's like, hates being touchy, it's being pet. You never hear him purr, like he just wants to do his own thing. And I respect him and I love him for his personality and that like, he wants to just supervise any room you're in. He wants to supervise, he wants to make sure everything's okay. But he's like, you know, he's been through a lot as a cat. He lived, had to live in Canada for a few months of his life once. And he had to sit on a plane with me on my lap, like on a flight to Canada and that traumatized him. So now he's a jerk, but like what? I feel like he heard me talking about getting him groomed. Literally, what is happening? This sweetheart is going to keep you and he won't go beat me. He's so big. He's huge. Oh my god, what's going on? This is literally never this is happened. This has not happened once during quarantine. Not once. Like, he used to do this when he was a little kitten. What is happening? All right, my magical humans. I am going to film a Miranda video tonight that I'm very excited about for the next episode of episode video in like the Miranda canceling people series. I posted the video today of me canceling all babies. It's the one of me and Flynn. So if you want to see that, you can. Anyway, I think I'm going to film a Miranda TikTok first. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm starving because for some reason, healthy food, like I ate a lot at dinner. Like I had an extra serving of vegetables and I've been snacking all day like on healthy healthy snacks, but for some reason, like, you can give me a cookie. Like, a, it's someone, a dietitian, what are those people called? People know things about food. Tell me in the comments below. I can eat a literal cookie for lunch and be full until dinner, but if I eat healthy, like, chicken and veggies and rice and celery and, well, celery is no calories, but, like, if I eat a bunch of, like, healthy food, I'm, I'm still starving. Like, I never get full on healthy food. I'm always starving, so I'm making cookies. <laughs> But so can someone explain that to me? Like how I can eat like so like a few french fries or like a cookie or a slice of cake or like a single McDonald's cheeseburger or like a few chicken nuggets or something and then I'm full for like most of the day. But if I eat healthy food, I'm still starving. I think it's because I'm not satisfied. Like I think it's because mentally and my taste buddily, I am like not satisfied. I'm like, oh, I want something that's gonna like quench my set, like my craving things and like healthy food doesn't really do that for me. Someone explain this to me because we're doing, Eric and I are doing healthy food for the week challenge just to like try to like revamp our bodies because we're, we're eating whatever we want. It's not a diet because like we can't eat whatever we want. Like I'm literally making cookies right now. We're just trying to like make healthier choices when we can, you know? So I've been eating all day. I've been eating, I eat way more today than I usually do, but I've just been so hungry all day. And I think it's because I'm not satisfied. Whereas if I literally eat a cookie, I am full. What is that about? 
Okay, I'm gonna make him write a video. Okay, I just filmed a TikTok. I found two bobby pins. I, you'd think I'd be even slightly organized. Jojo always makes fun of me for this because she's the same way, but like, I don't ever have tripods that work. I never have ring lights or light boxes that work. Like, everything's broken. I'm not organized. Like, I'm just a mess. And you think because I've been Miranda for over a decade, I would have a place where my lipsticks go and a place where my bobby pins or hair clips go, but I don't. I lose everything always and even though I'm Miranda half of the time, I never can find hair clips. Wow. I was looking for bobby pins and I happened to find two bobby pins, um, which is very old school Miranda. I usually use hair clips. But I found two bobby pins and I was like, these will work. So what was crazy is I put them in and I was like, do 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 went like that. And then I went to put this one in and the second it touched my skin, I, or not even, the second I started to open it, I go, this is from Haters Back Off. I knew by the feel of the bobby pin that it was from the set of Haters Back Off, which I haven't really thought about how they're much different than like regular bobby pins, but I can barely pull it out because I don't want to ruin my hair, see it's stuck. So here's the problem with bobby pins is I like my hair pulled really tight back when I'm Miranda because it like shows off my receding hairline as you can see, see look how cute that is. So I want it to be pulled back really tight and when you're on set, I, you know, I was Miranda 12-ish, usually more hours a day when I did haters back off. So you want your hair to stay. No, ma no amount of hairspray can keep a bobby pin in because like even just now I filmed a TikTok and this one had started to like sag and fall, it like falls out really easily. Like I can just like literally do that and it comes out. Which is good because it doesn't pull out your hair. So this is a good bobby pin for normal humans. But when you're me and I want it to keep my hair really tight back, somehow the hair um, guy for our show, the hairdresser, hairstylist, that's the word, for our show who I was obsessed with. I have so many stories about him. Oh my gosh, he's amazing. He found these bobby pins that are like unbelievable. Like they are, like you can't get them out without ripping out your hair. But the second I like went to pull it open, I was like, this feels familiar. And then I put it in my hair and I was like, these are from Haters Back Off. So it is so tight. Like this is not gonna move. Like it's not gonna go anywhere. Whereas this side, like I can just, you know, barely touch it. And it's like wiggling this side of like, Literally, she ain't going nowhere, honey. We would like get it real tight down on my head too. I remember that, oh my God. I'm like having all these flashbacks just from a bobby pin. It's crazy that something so small, like a little bobby pin can do that. Like it can like trigger so many memories. Like the second I felt it, I was like back in that freaking makeup chair at five in the morning where they would straighten my hair to a pulp, like flat iron it so freaking straight and put all this gunk in it to make it look greasy. Like my hair was so heavy because they put, you can barely even tell when you watch haters, but like my hair was so freaking greasy from all this stuff they put in and I wasn't allowed to wash it all week. Monday morning I come in and they would flat iron it to death put tons of product in it to make it look super greasy and I didn't wash it the whole week. So I'd only wash my hair on Saturdays and, or Fridays and Sundays when I did haters back off. And these were the bobby pins that we used. And it's just bringing back all these memories. Like you can even see, it's so tight. It's pulling my, like this was the middle part and it's like pulling it down. Whereas the side's like, she's given up. Like she's not even trying. I know it's not very interesting information, but to me it was very bizarre to have something so small, so not important. So like just a literal tiny bobby pin and it brought back like a whole flood of memories and emotions and feelings and happy thoughts of doing that show. Also, I think this was like the length of my hair when I did season two. We cut my hair really, really short for season two. And I think I'm about at that length, which is crazy that my hair is already at that length. Um, I'm gonna go make cookies. So you're welcome for telling you a story that no one asked for. All right, cookies. After I finish my cookies, I'm gonna film a random video and go to bed. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Health week is going so well.